regular VW Golf and I often drive myself and I often unload all my equipment from my car at like at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, you do visit great places and you meet loads of people, um, but to be honest with you, it, it's a lot of hard work. <laughs> I wouldn't like it to change. I, I find it very challenging. Um, I find it very satisfying. So I can't imagine what else I would do. We can so easily get into, this is how you do it. There's one way. <laughs> and you do this and you do it like that. And I think we can be very formula based. We, we, we sometimes like to take a formula and then we will try and adopt it. And I think what's good about Worship 97 is you've got very many different people who have different edges to what they do. And I think what I would like people to go away is to think there's no formula. <laughs> there isn't a formula in how you lead worship. Uh, but actually we need to experiment, we need to be innovative, we need to be original, we need to be authentic, we need to be ge generic. You know, we need to be something different than a formula that we adopt. I think we can all learn from other people and learn from what works and what doesn't work. But at the end of the day, I'd love to see loads of different creative styles and expressions and outworkings, which we call worship. Not even just the one person worship leader. Because I, I, I love to lead worship with a team. For me, I work with a band. They as much lead worship as I do. And I think we get into a very stereotypical thinking that the worship leader is this person, that's what they do, and that's how you do it. And I think we, can, I think we need to take the lid off. I want them to actually get inspired about what worship is, which is basically following God. You know, it's loving God, it's being devoted to God. And within that, we have creative expressions. It isn't just music, it isn't just song, you know, it's dance, it's drama, it's photography, it's art, it's visuals, it's light. So I hope that we take the essence of worship, but, but that people can then be original with it and be innovative with it. But I think what is good is we are seeing more women lead worship. Because again, I think the prophetic thing is that we're in it together. It's men and women together in whatever role, whatever gift it is, we need to be like co-workers together. So I think the greatest thing of more women coming into the sort of field of worship leading or songwriting or producing or whatever, is that it isn't just a male thing. <laughs> it, it, it has to be men and women together. And I'm, I'm foreseeing more of, of these sort of partnerships where it's men and women, because I think that truly represents God. You know, we think, or many people think that God is male, but actually God is beyond gender. And if we truly want to represent God, then we have to work together, male and female.